and here we go with another video back on the channel and I'm out here at 5 o'clock in the morning um, shooting a video with a temperature of 23 degrees the wind chill makes it feel the wind makes it feel with a wind chill minus or I should say not minus but 10 so if we convert that over in metric that is like Uh, that would be minus 5 Celsius temperature and with the wind chill minus 12 That is I can feel the wind hitting my face right now and I'm surprised Right here at how bare the roads are considering yesterday When I was Out here it was nasty uh, the roads were icy and not so good but I'm surprised it dried up as much as it had that's why when I went out here now I was prepared for icier roads but so far in this particular section not bad but I'm seeing coming up to some ice now so and I can certainly feel that wind hitting my face this is probably as cold of a ride as I've done and I don't think I've done uh, much colder than this as I slow down to turn on my ex Nito helmet I forgot to turn the light on to give me some uh, extra light to be seen as you can hear me crunching through some ice pieces Whoa, that is a cold wind. I wouldn't want to go too, too far. When it's this cold, but if you're only going for a little run, it's not too, too bad. My face is already frozen, though. <laughs> I just wanted to get a ride in. To see what it was like out here as I hit some ice right here as you can see slow it right down yeah some pretty good ice right here you wouldn't want to take that corner too fast one minute you can be on a dry patch and then all of a sudden I would not recommend anyone coming out in these kind of conditions but here's some more ice but uh I just wanted to show you that it can be done if you're careful and don't ride overly fast and you can bear it that's the one thing can you bear the cold enough to do it people might think I'm crazy out here but this is a demonstration video I'm demonstrating <laughs> that it is possible to ride in cold weather and ice but like I say I wouldn't want to do this for a very far trip if I was going more than five miles even five miles might be a little much but if you're a few miles you know if you're going two or three miles just take it easy, dress warmly, and it's doable. And this intersection looks terrible here for ice. Looks like they put a little salt right here though. That's amazing because our roads, at least these side roads around my area, they don't do anything. As you can see, no plow, no salting. I'm surprised that this here area is salted. slow it down just a little bit here as we hit some more ice coming up sounds like rice crispies popping in the bowl
And the only way I would do this kind of a ride as well is with fat tires. I wouldn't want to be doing this with regular two inch tires or, or, or less than that. I'm going to go down a bit of a hill here. Some, like right here, there's no way you can avoid the ice. It's all over the place. It's amazing, I started out and it looked great, and then I hit this area. Way different. As I navigate my way through. The problem with some of this is that <clears throat> I guess the, when the cars drive on it, you know, and they pack it down and then it doesn't get scraped off or anything, and then it just when you get super cold, it freezes solid and then you get all this. To deal with. Oh, a little dry patch here. So I think some of those roads there, like the one I was just on, are just a little bit less traveled too. And they probably didn't get as much sun, because we did have sun yesterday afternoon. I'll slow it down here as we into some more ice. The other thing about when it's cold out, and you're riding and if there's any wind I think it does help to although you will get there slower but it does help to uh, to ride slow so you don't get as much of that wind uh, I gotta say these tires are doing surprisingly well <clears throat> for this. These are uh, CST uh, big boat tires 20 by 4 So I navigate my way through the ice Once in a while I'll hit a little bear section which is nice going down a bit of a hill here I'm just coasting I'm not even throttling stop sign here you can probably see just over there flag blowing pretty good that gives you an idea of what the wind is like right now Navigate along a little further here. They're talking about a possibility of us getting some more snow and or freezing rain coming in a few days ahead so we'll have to see on that one i really don't like the freezing rain but the snow <clears throat> is much more manageable i can navigate easier through the snow than i can the ice
see what it's like down this way. Pretty much the same all around. You get areas of <clears throat> some pretty good ice, like these corners, like right here. This is bad right here. And then you get a little bare pavement there. I can tell the bike really wants to go a little faster, but you want to be careful first. You don't want to go crazy. That's when you're going to get yourself into trouble. So even if I was to fall down at this speed, it wouldn't be so bad. Although, if you fall on this ice, it's going to scratch you up pretty good though. Even if you are going slow, but at least at this speed I can control a little bit of my fall if I was to go down. But <clears throat> I haven't seen any cars out on the road just parked on the side of course it is five o'clock in the morning so most people unlike myself are asleep If you got any comments on this video or any other video go ahead and leave them in the comments you think I'm crazy riding in this which is worse riding in the ice or riding in the cold I think they're about the same I mean, when that cold hits your face, it freezes you up. It makes it a little bit harder to talk, but uh, so you're concentrating while well, freezing. You're concentrating on your ride and your riding and uh, getting through the ice. these uh, <clears throat> intersections to be the worst. Lots of uh, ice on them. And you're turning. I'm not going to go in here, but just look over there. You can see that hasn't even melted. Even though the sun was out yesterday afternoon, and usually here, in uh, my area here, of King City Tiger in Oregon, uh, when it does snow uh, or you get ice, uh, usually it melts really quickly. So this is kind of unusual. I'm going to show you down here. Too. Look at that. Nobody's even been driving on that one. They probably have been stuck in their houses for a few days. I don't even see any tracks at all in those few houses in there. Uh, but yeah, normally within a day, the same day that the snow comes down or for sure by the next day, it's usually melted off, gone. You may see a patch here or there, but nothing like this. So this is highly unusual. And uh, I was hearing a statistic on the news yesterday or the other day that uh, I don't think I'm going to go down there this is this is one of the main roads here look at this it's a skating rink just awful and uh, I was reading a article about the uh, Portland Airport and they uh, 
as I get back on here. They, um, the other day they had a, in a 24 hour period, 10.8 inches of snow. And that's the second most in a one day uh, snow total. I'm gonna go down this street over here. That's a uh, second most snow they've had in a 24 hour period, 10.8 inches. And the record is, I think they said the record was 14 inches back in uh, 19, oh, I can't remember the year, several years ago anyway, years and years ago, before I was born. And uh, so this is, that shows you how unusual storms like this are. It just doesn't happen that often, so. It's nice to get out here even though the conditions aren't the greatest, just to uh, do a video on it because I probably won't get too many chances to show you snow and ice in my area and what it's like to navigate in it. And here it's even worse than a lot of areas because like I say they just don't do the roads, they don't put nothing down. They The only roads they will do is the main main roads and then everything else is you just basically you're fending for yourself they just don't have a budget set for this kind of thing because it doesn't happen very often and uh you just kind of gotta you just kind of gotta get through it so other places now like i'm from canada and when we would get uh situations like this we would be uh Snow plows would be out, would be, and then they'd be sanding and, and uh, salting the roads and all. And uh, so it'd be a little different riding than here on this. This, it's got to melt on its own for it to disappear. Uh, it to disappear. As I make a turn through that ice there. Coming up to some more here. Well, I think that's going to do it on this video. I better go and flaw my face out. If you enjoyed this video, first of all, thank you for coming along on the uh, ride here in the ice. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you'd like to purchase a Lyric Graffiti bike, the bike I'm on right now, I do have a link in my descriptions. And you can hit that link. And then if you use the discount code Oregon E-Biker Mark, that's all one word, Oregon E-Biker Mark, that will get you now $150 off the purchase of a bike. And it will also help uh, the channel out. Because we both get something out of the deal. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video and stay tuned for my next adventure until then take care